my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Outdoors. Holy moly. Altera, and with two quick uh, button pushes, I can just hit deploy, and it just deploys automatically. Pretty slick if you're by yourself. It'll uh, it'll uh, stow it by itself as well, so it's been really handy. You good eater. kayaks. Running three rods, I can't even imagine. He's got this small coho um, using the Hobie Pro Angler 14 foot. Best boat, hands down. Um, control without using your hands and you can have access to both your rods. So that's not a fish, I'm snagged on the bottom. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get a double here, so we'll put this one in the cooler. Best tasting fish in Lake Michigan. I can't help myself. <laughs> I know I'm the camera boat, but I, you just got a fish. How can you be out here and not fish? Well, you got a lot going on there in that boat. I know. <laughs> we always have a lot going on. We just lost one, and then yeah, we just got. Now we just caught this ground trout. They're running those uh, offshore mini boards. Those look like they'd work perfect for this. That's that Hobie 17-foot Hobie tandem. I tell you what, I think you guys need to stay a little closer to us. We just lost one right before that too. Yep, I think the action's just starting to pick up here. So if you look on the water surface over there, you'll see what they call a boil. And there's a warm water that's being discharged and kind of creating this cooling thing that's that's where they're getting a lot of the fish. There's two of these in this area, so they, they're kind of just going back and forth and trying to be in that little bit of a warmer water. You know, whenever you're fishing out here on the big water, the good anglers really can read what the water's doing, what the currents are doing, just by looking at the water surface. A lot of times lines will develop, like scum lines, and you'll, te you'll be able to tell that's a current change. And this is something else you'd really want to pay attention to if you see on the water and fish it. So. Uh, that's where they're getting them. It's kind of interesting looking. Almost looks like a spring. And there's a 
fish. Might be dinner for me tonight. So. Looks like a decent fish right there. All right. Nice, nice. <laughs> You know, again, you know, that's, it seems like found a little spot where there's a few fish sitting. There. Hey, didn't you just put that spoon on there? Yeah, just put that one on. Wow. Nice job. It's a nice fish right there. Now that will definitely keep if you don't like. That's definitely good eating right there for sure. Nice, whoa. They are strong too. That's the cool part about them. They are very strong. You almost like to have a little thumper, right? Give them a little thump right away. Nice job. Boy, I'll tell you, this is a very relaxing way to fish. It really is. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to be like, your legs are going to be on no, fire. You know what? I mean, we're kind of, you know, I'm not pumping. All pedaling all the time, you know. <laughs> so. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind, and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon or trout and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Oh, you can stand in this. Yeah, I mean, it's real. It's, it's a very stable boat for sure. Now, I don't know if I'd do it in four footers, but stand up, I mean. Another coho. Love, love to see that. On the dipsy again, and the spoon. A brown trout, huh? Looks like a nice brown though. Yeah. We'll hold that up. Be awesome. I'm gonna kind of keep us moving here. I got a feeling we're gonna bump another one here. You know? You know what you were saying that yesterday too the fish bit a little bit better in the afternoon. And I'm always used to getting up at like two in the morning and getting out here and fishing salmon. So it's kind of nice that today we didn't meet till about nine, ten o'clock. Yeah. So like that. Right, no, small browns like that. Is that a good eating site? Okay, good, we'll keep that one too. Nice job, nice job. Oh, 
how deep you're fishing that on the mini Dixie. Uh, we're in 24 feet of water, and I'm setting it back about 50 feet. So it's probably about 16 to 20 feet down, depending on our speed. Oh, okay. When you're looking at the water surface, we talked before about really looking close to this little hatching of bugs and the collection of debris on top of the water. That's also a good indicator that it might be some type of current break or current shift in there. So you see that floating on top, one area versus not the other, and that transition line between the two of them is oftentimes a good place to try. So you have to really look at all the little details around you, even when there's waves, because you will be able to see some differences. Oh, nice one. Easy. Just snapped one off before too. This one's a nice little brown. So what makes them turn on later in the day? Um, I think half the time you just gotta find them. Um, but sometimes it's the light. Okay, this guy's Yeah, that one hit the, uh, the uh, pearl reef runner, so yeah, not too bad. You got a couple on that one now, don't you? Yeah, and I just snapped one off on it, too. Oh. I think it was a coho that rolled up in my line and then just snapped. What's the biggest one you got in your kayak? <laughs> uh, I don't know, because I don't weigh them. <laughs> oh. Probably about 22 inches or so, 24 inches. Nice. Too big, but yeah. You ever get freaked out because of big bad weather, big waves? Uh, no, we play, we watch the weather reports out here. And uh, like the other day, we knew uh, the front was coming through, so we don't come out in those times. We play the wind a lot. So. I see you got floats on your rods. Yeah, you don't want to lose anything going over the side. <laughs> what's the yeah. What's the other thing you got hanging on the top of that rod, the green thing there? Oh, that's a diver. It's like a Dipsy diver. Okay. Different brand of diver. I was using that earlier to get the spoons lower. So to get spoons low, you either got to have lead core or some kind of dive system to get it down. So you've been out here since what time? Uh, well, I got here at 6 a.m. So. How, how do your legs feel? Oh, they're fine. I'm a cyclist, so I can do this all day long. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm only trolling about 1.8 miles an hour, so. Well, what, what a beautiful day for it. Oh, the lake flattened out. I mean, this morning it was choppy, and now it seems a few rollers, but it's pretty smooth. Does that usually make the fishing better or worse? Hard to say. We've been out here on days where it's calm and it's so clear the fish can see us. So, but yeah. 
I don't know. I, I think it has more to do with the wind direction and stuff. Now, tell me about your Hobie. So, this is a Hobie Outback. So, the Hobie Outback is one of their fishing models. Um, it's stable enough to stand in. Um, I won't stand in it out here if it's really rough, but I can stand in it most of the time. Uh, rigged it up with rod holders for trolling out here because we do most of our fishing trolling. Uh, the drive system, let's see if I can show you the drive system. The drive system looks like fins like this. So they're like uh, penguin flippers almost. And the benefit of this is if you get in shallow water, you can bring it up to about zero draft. Oh. And you can go through shallow water. Um, the fin's got quite a bit of surface area on them, so uh, this kayak it can pedal about five and a half miles an hour if I really, really get with it. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's great for trolling. It's great for covering big water too. So if you want to fish bigger lakes, you can cover a lot more water. So it seems like you have a lot of accessories like the electronics and all sorts of stuff. Does that... Uh... It's All of this is extra. So I put the Lowrance uh, Elite 5 on it, side imaging. So we got all the toys on it. Uh, I got a lithium ion battery in the hatch here, a 10 amp hour battery that'll, this thing's been running all day just fine. Got my Garmin version of a GoPro up front. And usually run my phone over here because checking emails half the time out here when you're trolling. So. so this is a newer Hobie when the Mirage Drive can actually go frontwards and backwards? Yes, this is the newer model with the uh, reverse in the Mirage Drive. Yep. So you just pull, you have to have the fins down, you just pull the lever and it will, the fins actually will flip around the other direction. So the leading edge will be facing backwards and then you paddle and it just takes it backwards. So let's see your fish again. Oh, see the fish? Yeah. So two little browns. Nice. Yeah, eating size. So. Yeah. I'd like to have gotten into some cohos today, but I'll take it. Yeah, this bike's pretty good. What a ball out here. Out of the kayak, fishing out of the kayak. How are we looking back there? Awesome. It is getting a little slim. Okay. Let's see the board. Okay, there's the board. Oh, let's give it a good one. Okay. You get him? A little I can't higher. Even see him. A little higher. Back me. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> you gotta love it. I'll tell you, you know what? The thing that I love and why we started this new show, Larry Smith Outdoors, is because we like to do different things. And I'll tell you what, Barb Carey asked me to come over here and film with these guys today. And what a ball. This is definitely something different, very unique. But it's something that everybody wants to try. You're going to want to try this for sure. Just because, you know what, I'm sure a lot of people have caught brown trout and coho and all the other species. But catching them out of a kayak, that's a whole different story. So you want to give it a shot. Nice fish. Nice. Oh, it does. OK. No, that, this is absolutely awesome. What an experience, you know? And again, these are the things, you know, that you can come out and enjoy doing these things. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. 
Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Phone by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Phone will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Hey, Steve Schaefer, a shotgun chef here at Midwest Shooter Supply with one of the owners, Randy, here. Tell us about what you got going on here today. Well, I would like to thank Larry for uh, have, letting us have this opportunity to do this uh, cooking segment. Uh, we got 5% off on guns, or we had 10% off on fishing tonight. Uh, it's been a good turnout. And uh, how do we get a hold of you here? Well, you can call us at 920-269-4995 uh, or go to mwshooters.com. Oh, you do it much better than I do. <laughs> Today we're doing crappie. We got some new seasoning Larry's got coming out. Parmesan butter panko crumbs. I got the griddle hot already over there and I got dirty rice going on over here. Put a little EVOO on there. How much you want? Just enough so it doesn't stick too bad. And I'm gonna season the crappie. What we do is we put this on, Randy, and then uh, I got your oven going in the back room already. So just leave them on one side down and we're gonna put them on the pan and put them in the back room and cook them the rest of the way in the, in the oven. And by that time, my dirty, my dirty rice will be ready. That enough? Oh, heck yeah. That's the noise you want to hear right there, that So you just put it on one side. Heck yeah. We're gonna layer down. This is a uh, fish that was donated to us. I don't know if you saw the episode, the high school fishing team. Oh yeah. Right down the road, the Fond du Lac Ledger's got a high school fishing team. Ice fishing. Ice fishing team, We yep. sponsor them. Oh, do you really? Yep. Well then you're eating some of their sponsored fish. Thank you, Fond du Lac Ledgers. They were good guys. They yeah, well, were messing with me the whole day on the ice out there. Goofing that's actually around. a great thing, all the high school teams that are having uh, ice fishing teams. I told Larry about it. We didn't know nothing about it. My son's on it for Kettle Marine. Uh -huh. There's 70, there were 72 teams out there that day for the state tournament. And then uh, there was 40 some schools there that day. Wow. All right, I'm gonna put it in the oven for a little while. At 350. I'm just going to try to get a little crust on it a little bit, see how it works. Oh, look at that. Right on top. Oh, you want another one? No, here, no, no. Here, here. I didn't want to cut no, you no. short. I, your show. <laughs> no, it's your show today. Randy, thanks for letting me cook here today. Thank you for coming. Mm. Midwest Shooter Supply. You can taste the Parmesan. Yeah, you can, ain't it? Yep. Makes just a little, like a batter on top. Pretty good combination. Shotgun Chef, Midwest Shooter Supply, Randy. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. And once again, crappies borrowed off of some shoreline. Some guys are fishing, they gave it to me. Larry, you gotta help me out one of these days, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can no, you? He is. To our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Or that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there.
So you, you're quite an avid kayak angler. You're out here quite a bit. Yeah, I come out four or five times a month. Wow. You know, you just got to dress for the weather and plan your days accordingly. So what's it like hooking up with a king in this? Five and a half miles an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. The fish actually pulls you around? Yeah, my biggest king so far has been 22 pounds, and it pulled me five and a half miles an hour for about 300 yards. Oh, you're kidding. It's it's a sleigh ride. It's it's insane. So what, what advice do you have to someone that wants to do What resources is available to them? Always, always wear your life jacket. Uh, there's numerous Facebook groups, Badger Yackers, uh, Wisconsin Kayak Fishing Club. Join any of those and just ask people to take you out. If I wanted to go get a Hobie, where do you get them? Do they sell them all over the place? Pretty limited where you can get them, but uh, Don's Marine uh, LLC in Lodi, Wisconsin has uh, availability of all the kayaks. Nice. That's a good place to check them out. Absolutely. Hmm. You got a nice little part selection too. Yeah, I suppose you have to have specific accessories that go with them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you look at the PA-14 or the PA-17 or the PA-12, you have these H rails that run along the side. It's less holes you have to drill in your kayak, but you do have to uh, get special accessories. Yeah. My paddles with. <laughs> well, you, you sure know what you're doing, and it's all laid out pretty nice. Yeah. Um, and there's dinner. There's dinner. Nice. Actually, I think my mom's going to be happy. I was hoping that the, the camera boat operator would get uh, a score one of those today. Yeah, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> I'm on here all the time. Hey, I'll tell you what, there's no doubt that there's not much we won't do to catch fish. And uh, what an interesting way to fish out of these kayaks. And I want to thank Mike and Rob for the great experience we had today. And hey, we want to definitely thank Mark Carey too for being the camera boat today. Just remember, what a great day to be alive. Hey, uh, Mike, I want a Hobie. Where can I buy one? Don's Marine LLC in Lodi, Wisconsin. Awesome. I'll be with you next time. Um, I only have brown trails. I'm all parts. Okay. <laughs>